We are uh, running the hot and cold water as well as the hot water return line for I believe it's a kitchen. And uh, we're just getting the hangers ready. So I'm just waiting for my coworker. At the end of the day, I, I feel I have value in what I've done for the day. And uh, it's, I enjoyed it out of anything I've ever done. This is something I've enjoyed the most. This is honest work. You're just doing your specific job task. You get it done, your boss is happy, you get to go home to your family, and uh, you know, you're, you're proud of what you've done for the day. Doesn't even have a marker. I'm uh, piping a condensate line for a uh, air conditioning that's going in this mechanical room. We're pretty buried, so I have to kind of monkey around. And as you saw, getting the pipe in is a uh, is a little frustrating. The tool I'm using is a pro press gun. It's the, the other side of soldering. It, it takes place of soldering. It basically crimps a fitting down, one of these fittings that has an O-ring on the inside of it. So it'll crimp it down to a grasp the pipe and it makes a good seal. You see something different every day. Uh, there's only so many people can say that they've been up this high or been in this building or seen the things I've seen. So it's a, it's a great experience accomplishment when you're done. You can look up in the air at all these pipes that we're looking at right now. I mean in a building like this it's just uh, it's amazing how much plumbing goes into a job like this. When I like look at these pipes I can tell it's quality because of the craftsmanship here. You can see in the joints that are made, the Silfos joints, the way, the way they uh, we actually put the, the controls in, you know they're all accessible. Uh, you can see some thought was put into it. And that kind of quality training is what separates union from non-union. It speaks for itself. There's a lot of pride that goes into this work here. These guys learn a lot of stuff and they learn it quick. That also helps the contractors be a little more competitive with the quality and the skill set already to go out and help them bid their future jobs. You slap one of these together with all the right parts in it and it's not going to function properly. This, by looking at it, I could tell that it's going to work. It, you know, it's, it's going to operate fine. To me, this is beautiful work. <laughs> Even getting a 20-foot piece of pipe up here is a huge task, Absolutely. you know, and this little pipe, you know, and then it goes hook on to all that, that heavy carbon steel pipe. These guys work real pipe. hard to get it all done. If people think that we're not skilled, I'd like to see them come out and put one of these pieces of pipe in, put one of these valves in, put a hanger up. Yeah, they couldn't do it. They wouldn't know where to begin. You know, that, that's union pride there. That's union craftsmanship. We're craftsmen. We're the last of the craftsmen. <laughs> when I got in, we had the opportunity in high school to take some welding classes, some shop classes. Nowadays, the kids that we're bringing into the apprenticeship, they may have a college degree, maybe real book smart, but not necessarily know how to build anything or not have the, uh, maybe they weren't hanging out in the garage with their dad building stuff. We are teaching our own kids because my son is a right. fourth year apprentice. My dad was a journeyman. My grandpa was a journeyman. Family so tradition. that's kind of what we do. So now through our training, it's all about hands-on. Our, our, our training that we do at school is second to none. I mean, that's, it's the best in the country. My mom works in the building next door. She's on the 42nd floor. She, she looks out her window and, and she's actually seen me out there on the floors. And that's a great pride. She's proud. And uh, there's, there's no feeling like it. Yeah, it's great. That, in, in, my, in my life, I mean, that's like the best thing that could happen to me, you know, for uh, my mom to take pride in what I'm doing. You know, working with my hands. I didn't go to, to college or none of that. You know, uh, I picked the blue collar way, and uh, it's paid off. It's been good to me. Uh, the trade's been great to me. Uh, I love what I do. I wouldn't have it no other way. We're just testing the uh, the chilled hot water for these uh, air handlers here on the sale, uh, level 74. Top of the building. Top of the building. It's high. It's, high. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And I got to make sure everything's buttoned up, screwed on. Certain valves should be open, certain valves should be closed. We had to find out which ones are, are right. And then uh, once he gets that on, I can start filling with water. When my son was small, we'd be driving down the freeways. I'd look at a building and I'd tell him, oh, I, you know, I worked in that building. You know, look at how beautiful it is. And now my son's in the trade. He's been in the trade for eight years now. And now he does it to me. He's pointing at buildings that he's proud that he, he put his hands into it. You know, you look at the, the cleanliness and the brace joints that they're done properly, the solder joints, the the Teflon, and make sure everything is doped up and tightened up, and everything is installed as, as clean as possible. And that's the one thing I ask the guys is to to take the time and take pride and 
you know, to take a look at it before they walk away from something, uh, because that has their name on it, and not only their name, but Akko's name and 250's name on there, and uh, which, you know, they should be very proud to be associated with. Every job site that I used to be on, we were all family. Yeah, we have our disagreements, just like with your brothers and sisters, but when there's danger, you always take care of each other. If anybody gets hurt, plumber, iron worker, if they get hurt, it's like one of our family members got hurt. Getting the hanger in there, and then uh, we're gonna be putting the pipe up in there. Taking the time to respect someone that's actually teaching you, an older journeyman or an older man, it's very awesome when someone will take their time to teach you something rather than just assuming you know it and not helping you at all. To be torquing, it pretty much means to make sure the anchor is completely in the ceiling. That way to make sure if there's ever an earthquake or anything, uh, this is our work is guaranteed not to come off the wall. I wish I would have known about this earlier. I would have taken it up a lot sooner because I didn't know what the union was about and what it offered. Uh, now that I do, I, I respect it and uh, I wish people, more people would know about it. You know, driving by on the freeway, you know, hey, when I have my kid, you know, hey, I, I helped build that building, you know, isn't that awesome? You know, I think, I'm sure my kid's going to appreciate that, you know, down the line when that does happen, uh, to be able to say, I helped build this project. Look at this view. There's not many people who get this view. It's, uh, LA is a big city, and uh, you don't realize how big it is until you're actually up this high. You can see the city. It's pretty nice.